हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर सेफ एट होम स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू लर्न जी के यूनिट नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्रू एंड फॉल्स रिविजन सो नाउ लेट्स लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज ट्रू एंड वॉट इज फॉल्स What is true and what is false? Number first, thermometers. So here we can see a photograph of thermometers. So uh, it's a digital thermometer, and you all know that uh, how uh, or uh, uh, how can we use the thermometer and how the reason. and we use thermometer uh, because it's a check our fever so digital thermometer may be in, uh, instead into the mouth under uh, and the tongue under the armpits or into the eyes so these thermometer display the uh, reading in the lcd so these types of thermometer does not used mercury which is a has has reduced to human so it's a digital thermometer and uh, may be instead into the mouth under the tongue and uh, under the armpit or uh, into the eyes so these thermometer display the uh, reading in the lcd so thermometers here we can so uh, see a mercury a thermometer in mercury is the clinical uh, terms uh, of ometers contacts when the contact with the coldness and expand when in contact with the heat therefore in this thing the measure of the temperature so body temperature is a measurement of uh, amount of heat in the body so the balance between heat produced and heat lost is the body temperature so the normal adult, adult body temperature is 37 degrees celsius so we use the thermometer to check if we have fever so it's a true that we use thermometer to check check it have a fever we have fever or not so it's a true uh, for thermometer so now next uh, and it's a uh, your mother's brother is your aunt so it's a false so why it's a false because your uh, uncle can be your father's brother and your your mother's brother uh, or your father's sister husband or your mother's sister's husbands in english when we used words like aunt uncle and grandmother and grandfather so or a cousin so we could mean our mother side of the family or our father side of family so uh, we uh, used uncle not aunt so it's uh, your mother's brother is your aunt is sentence is false so your mother's brother is your uh, in english we can say it's uncle not aunt so that's why uh, this is a false sentence okay so now next um, february so here we can see a february month is a uh, shortest month of the year and Uh, the february is the second month of the year in the jainin and jar uh, jiorin uh, calendar uh, and uh, the month has 28 uh, 
days in a common year or a 29 in a leap years and with the 29th day being called a leap day and it is the first of five months to have a uh, fever than 31 days and the only one to have a fever than 30 days so February is the shortest month of the year and uh, it's a true sentence and uh, because of February in a uh, common 28 days but in a leap year uh, we have a 29 days but uh, not a 30 or not a 31 and that's why February is a shortest month of the year. So, and the February is the second month uh, and uh, February have a uh, 28 or 29 days. So, children, uh, the shortest month of the year uh, is a uh, February. So, you all are understand about uh, February. So, now next and it's a dozen so a dozen is equal to 12 so yes is here we can see a dozen so it's a 12 so dozen is equal to 12 and it's a true sentence a dozen is unit of measurement and it means 12 so item of something the term goes back to uh, donic uh, creams which means tw uh, 12 in latin uh, and uh, human might have started to count on a base 12 because there are approximately 12 cycles uh, cycles of the moon in one cycle of the sun so dozen equal to 12 is a uh, means a uh, dozen uh, item of the something uh, it's mean 12 so it's a dozen so it's a uh, true sentence a dozen a dozen is equal to 12 so here we can see also a 12 uh, 12 donuts so it's a dozen dozen donuts so it's a equal to 12 so children you all are understand and uh, uh, you all know that dozen is equal to 12 so now next and a shapeling is a young tree so here we can see a young tree so a young tree with a slender trunk is known as a shapeling and the way to remember the meaning of shapeling is that a tree makes shape and sweet sugary liquids that in a sugar sugary liquids that in a sugar maples get turned into syrup so young tree then is known as a shapeling. So uh, sap and sweet sugary liquids that sugar melts. So a young tree with a slender trunk is known as sapling. Uh, shapling and the way of remember the meaning of shapling is that trees make shape and the sweet uh, sir sugary liquid and that in sugar males uh, gets a trunk into a syrup so a young tree then uh, is uh, known as a sapling so a sapling is a young tree it's a true sentence so it's a true sentence that sapling means a young tree and uh, it's uh, uh, the way remembering to the meaning of the shapeling is the tree make shape and uh, sweet sugary liquids that in a sugar maples so gets turned into syrup. So children, uh, a, sha a sapling is a young tree. It's a true sentence. Okay, now next slide. What is it? 
so uh, here we can see the cat has a pose so here we can see a cat has a pose all cats and dogs have a pose so all cats have a four paws unless they suffer some kind of tragic accident so each front paw has a four finger and one thumb and which is known as the uh, dew claw and her back paw each have a four toes so every finger and toe also has a a uh, claw and similar to young fi uh, finely nails finger nails so uh, similar to your finger nails so all cats have a four paws unless they suffer from a kind of a tragic accident and each front paw has a four finger and one thumb so four finger and one thumb so which is known as a dew claws and her back paws each have a four toes so every finger and toe also has a claw similar to your fingers so uh, a cat has paws and a cow so a cow has hooves so here we can see a hooves so the most even toed on glads as uh, such as sheep goats deer cattle bison and pigs have two main hooves on each foot and together called a cloven hoof and that tapper is a special case having three toes on each hind foot and four toes on each front foot so a cow has a hooves and a cat has a paws so children you all are understand that a cow then sheep goats deer and cattle bison and pigs have two main hooves and each foot together call a cloven hoof so the repair is a special case having three toes and taper taper is a special case having three toes and each hind a foot and four toes uh, on each front foot so children you all are understand about uh, a cow has a hooves and uh, and cat has paws so now next next slide and it's a when a flows uh, water flows when water flows towards the lower surface so it's a true sentence a uh, water flows towards the lower surface here we can see water flows toward a lower surface so first of all all water runs uh, down hills due to gravity and it may flow northward of southward to the east or to the west but always down hill so while gravity does affect the flow of rivers tides also affect their flow and result in a many rivers flowing backwards as a result so first of all water runs down hills due to gravity and its may flow northward or southward to the east or to the west but always down hill and so while gravity does affect the flow flow of rivers tides also 
uh, affect their flow and result in many rivers flowing backward as a result so water flows towards a lower surface is a true sentence okay now next and it's a an electric train so here we can see a photograph of electric train so an electric train uh, local motive is a local motive uh, a power but electricity from overhead line and a third rail or on board energy storage such as a battery or a super uh, capacitor so additional efficiency can be gained from regenerative uh, braking which allow a kinetic energy to be recovered during the braking to put power back on the line so an electric uh, locomotive is locomotive powered by electricity from our head our headlines and third rail or broad energy storage such as a battery so electric train is not give a smoke and electric battery is a run with electricity or a, a super capacitor so children you all are understand that electric battery is a run with capacitor or a, a electricity so now next and it's a the president of india live in so a uh, president of uh, india live in a rashtrapati bhavan so here we can see a rashtrapati bhavan so the uh, splendor of the rashtrapati bhavan is multi dimensional and it is the west mansion and its architecture architecture is breathy uh, and more than that these it has a hallowed existence in the annals so democracy for a being the residence of president of the largest democracy in the world so uh, our president of india live in a rashtrapati bhavan so uh, not in a parliament so uh, he live in a rashtrapati bhavan now next kutub minar so here we can see a photograph of kutub minar so a kutub minar is one of the highest main main nature's in the uh, india which uh, which a uh, high of 73 meters and it is a unesco world heritage site and the tallest brick main uh, main minute in the world so these 20th century uh, minute in the considered as the earliest islamic structure in india with both arabic and brahmin in, uh, inscription so kutub minar is in a um, delhi and is one of the highest uh, Uh, many rods in india with a height of 73 meters and it is a on uh, on unesco world heritage site and the tallest brick main trace in the world so it's a uh, heritage uh, unesco world heritage and uh, this is 20th century um, minaret so it's a 20th century minaret so children in today's lecture we learn about a uh, different types of thing and now we are going to learn 
exercise on the on these slides every slide so now our unit number 26 and the name is true and false so children you all are right with me and uh, copy in your fair book so uh, unit number 26 true and false take the sentences which are true and cross the ones that are false so here we can uh, write true and false so number first we use a thermometer to check if we have fever so it's a true or false sentence uh, we use thermometer to check uh, if we have fever so it's a true yes we use thermometer uh, to check we have fever so it's a true okay very good children okay now number 2 you all are right with me children now number 2 your mother's brother is your aunt so it's a true sentence or false sentence your mother's brother is your aunt no it's not your aunt we call in english uncle but not aunt so that's why it's a false sentence so it's a false not true Okay very good now number 3 The shortest month of the year is January So it's a true or false The shortest month of the year it's January January have how many days Oh January have a 30 or 31 days but February have a 20 9 or 28 days and that's why february is the shortest month of the year not january so it's a false not january is the shortest month it's a february okay very good now number 4 a dozen is equal to 12 so it's a true or false dozen is equal to 12 so it's a true we uh, we uh, call a dozen means it's a 12 so it's a true sentence okay very good children now number 5 a shapling is a young tree so it's a true or false shapling is a young tree yes or no yes so sapling is a young tree so it's a true sentence very good so you all are right with me this sentence is okay now number 6 and next so the cat has a house and but the cow has a pole so it's a true sentence or false sentence the cat has hose and cow has paws so it's a not true so the cat has paws and the cow has a hose so this sentence is a false cow has a hose and cat has paws so it's a false so we write here we write false means f Okay now next number 7 water flows towards lower surface so it's a true or false yes it's a true water uh, flows towards lower surface so it's a true sentence water toward uh, flow towards a lower surface because depends uh, because it's a Uh, gav- uh gravity and that's why a uh, water flows towards a lower surface okay now number 8 an electric trains give gives of smoke so it's a true or false 
electric train gives off smoke so it's a false here we can see a electric train so electric train not give a smoke it's a run to use electricity or a battery and uh, uh, electric trains not gives of smoke so that's why it's a false sentence very good okay now number 9 the president of india live in the parliament house so it's a true or false president of india live in a parliament no it's a false they live in a rashtrapati bhavan so not a uh, live in a parliament so it's a false now number 10 the qutub minar is in a delhi so it's a true or false yes it's a true qutub minar is in a delhi so it's a true okay children so you all are understand about this lesson so now you all are uh, learn and enjoy this lecture i uh, hope you all learn and enjoy this lecture so students i will see you next time and also students don't forget to wash your hand regularly eat healthy food stay home and stay safe thank you students